Hallelujah, amen, child of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. I am Kenneth Abraham Kumbo, the seer, the prophet. I thank God for my life. I thank God for your life as a church and a people. I thank God for everything that has been going on since I came to the United States of America. This country is a beautiful nation, very beautiful nation. But there's a lot of work to do and I am willing and obedient to God to do what he wants me to do with my life in this country. Yeah, the Bible says, if ye are willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. Ye are willing and obedient. I have met with so many Sangomas in the land. Warlocks, divinators, sorcerers, false prophets, false apostles, charlatans, many, 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 many of them. Whom they thought that ministry is in making noise. Is not in making noise. Uh, everything that happened to me in this country, God helped me to turn it around for good. And I say, may His name alone be praised. Without the test, there will be no testimonies. No test, no testimonies. Stay in fervent prayer. If you suspect any man or woman to be of the devil, a wolf in sheep clothing, hiding in the church, trying to get into your life so they can destroy you, turn them to prayer points. Just an admonition as a prophet to you as a child of God. The church is getting more and more corrupt, more evil going on in the land. The devil and his agents seeking to kill righteous people and silence their prophetic voices. They are increasing in the land. Prophets of Baal, thieves, liars. Those people that Jesus was talking about that we will be seeing in the last days, they are on the rise. I pray for you. You will not die by the wish of your enemies. The word of the Lord came unto me saying, Kenneth, play dumb, play dead, act stupid, and watch them. And I watch and watch and watch and watch and watch. I told one of them, I say, go and prophesy again. We are waiting for you. Prophesy again. The demons disturbing some people will not leave them until they die. There is only one thing God is doing in these last days. There are actually two things but they are conjoined. They are intertwined. God says that he, God, was in Christ. God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself. Which is also the spirit of restoration. The one that God spoke to the prophet Malachi about. You know, God told Malachi, 4, 5, and 6 of Malachi. He uh, behold, I sent unto you Elijah the prophet before the great and the dreadful day of the Lord. This Elijah shall turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to the fathers. Don't let any man deceive you, child of God. These last days is going to get hot for agents of darkness, for territorial demons, for voodoo priests, for liars, for false prophets, false apostles, whoever it may be, the impostor, the impersonator that wants to destroy your life in the name of church. Watch them. On the rise, their center focus is to deceive the very elect because of the love of money. 
will lie, they will prophesy doom. They want to kill you by all means. If they can't control you, it becomes a problem for them. The Holy Ghost came and told me, say, you remember when I was telling you that there are certain spirits that will be coming up in these last days. Some of them were not mentioned in the Bible. I say, yeah, Lord, I hear you. I hear you, Lord. Somebody thinks that Prophet Okumbo lost his prophetic powers. I say, God is still with me and my family. And I thank him for helping us to stay humble, for helping us to stay prayerful, for giving us the grace to overcome our enemies, for silencing the voice of the Levitans and the conspirators in the land. They go and tell their friends to stay away from you that you're a bad man. You don't want them to make money. Don't know if somebody want to make money and they decide that it is church they will use to make money. Start a business. Nobody will fight with you if you start a business and leave the church of Jesus Christ alone. It is the business of the Holy Ghost. It is not your father's business. Yea, for though he be our heavenly father, but then you are not his son because your father is in John 8 verse 44. Jesus Christ came and said, Yea, ye of your father the devil. For light and darkness cannot dwell in the same place. For it is when the light comes, darkness has to flee. Lord, we prophesy to the spirit of the land. Take control, Lord. Take control. The people that poison other people's food and they are waiting for them to die. Lord, it shall be unto them according to the desires of their heart. Evil prophecies of doom that went forth against the righteous in the land. Return to sender, you demons of death. We prophesy against your dwelling in the name of Jesus. They shall none cast their young, said the Lord. They shall none cast their young. The children that the Lord has given to you, they are heritage from the Lord. Receive power to tread upon serpents and scorpions over all the powers of the enemy. If the Bible say nothing shall my enemies hurt you. You know something the Holy Ghost spoke to me tonight? He said, Kenneth, every of my child that found themselves mistakenly under the influence of a voodoo priest, under the agenda and the plan of a wicked man, who hides in the church as one of us, but have nothing to do with the church of Jesus Christ. Watch their death. Watch their disgrace. Watch them, watch them, watch them, say the Lord, watch them. God cannot be mocked. Hey! God cannot be mocked. So do your voodoo. Tell your lies. Conspire with your friends. You shall all carry it with your head. Thus yet the living God. God bless you, child of God. For every one of you who is a child of God out there, those who have made a covenant with God by sacrifice, may your days be prolonged. May your life be sealed with the blood. And every evil eyes that is still monitoring you to destroy you, ha, it shall not be well with the dwelling of the wicked. Here the Bible said, though hands join in hands, the wicked shall not go unpunished. Be blessed, be safe, be restored, be delivered, be filled with the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.